everyone Shiv here. Alrighty then, uh, this is going to be a v video sort of uh, posting for the Hearthpwn forums. Normally I'd write a, an opinion piece that would be long-winded, blowhardish, and well, I'm, I'm, I'm really tired and medicated right now, so I don't really want to go through that, plus the amount of spelling errors, syntax, grammar, ugh, the errors that would occur. So let me just ramble this out real quick. Since I've been on Hearthpwn and, you know, Hearthstone's been out, you know, deck uh, decks have been posted up places, you know. And one of the cool things about it is guides. That way people can kind of understand where your design philosophy is coming from, how this works. That way they're able to play it a little bit more efficiently than, you know, throwing them to the wolves with something that they have no concept of how it interacts. So the guides help out players who are just learning something, have never played something like this before, have never, um, or are new to the game, maybe inexperienced, not that great, but are looking to become better and are looking for tips, experience, right? So the guides help. But what we end up seeing is, and even more so recently, is people start posting up these decks and they put in there one phrase, upvote for a guide. Now, folks, this is vote manipulation. This is paramount to, you know, going on Reddit and asking people to upvote something. This is paramount to posting it up on Twitter saying, hey, upvote this. It's vote manipulation. It's almost on par with creating multiple accounts to add upvotes. Which, by the way, is a very, very, very bad thing on Hearthpwn. Alright? It's pretty shitty. Alright? Now, when I see this, normally I make a comment like, Hey, you know, it's kind of frowned upon practice to, you know, demand upvotes for a guide. Now, considering my record of my responses, that's probably one of the more timid and mild of responses I could leave on Hearthpwn. I mean, when it comes to toxicity and caustic uh postings on hearthpone nobody takes the cake beyond me i mean i think i hold the record for that so when i when i'm actually being nice about something and then people literally flare the fuck out about it i had one guy try to argue the point well i don't see how that's vote manipulation okay I'm going to love to hear this explanation. See, I'm like lazy and I only really want to put forth the effort to write a guide if people will get some value out of it. Now, my brain kind of like tried to comprehend this and inevitably imploded in on itself because the massive amount of stupidity of that statement just fucking rocked my world. All right? It did. Here's the problem. How are newer players or inexperienced players or somebody who's never played such an archetype before supposed to know if they're going to get value out of, of your deck without a guide logistically and you know they're not you look at the logical approach here's what's most likely going to happen since most people are not going to be strife crow fire bat trump whatever they might struggle a little bit all right they won't know what a good mulligan is they won't know what they should be holding in certain classes so what this means is their success rate with the deck is probably going to be a little variable now some players are not like that about half the hearthstone community is not like that the other half is it's kind of how that is all right so when you say players get value out of it and then you'll write a guy well how are they supposed to know I mean, without that guide, they're going to play your deck, and they're probably going to fall on their face. Like, at least half of them. And then they're going to come back, probably downvote the deck, write a comment that's going to be kind of crappy. You'll end up downvoting it. You'll get your friends to come over and downvote it. You'll probably make a Reddit post to have them downvote it. I, I've seen all this before. It's actually quite tragic. So... It's just kind of a shameful thing. You look at the deck architects, which there's quite a few of us on Hearthpone. Several of us. 
all of us write guides for the decks that we promote. We do. Very rarely have I ever seen anybody who's like, hey, here's a little something something. Uh, if this gets more popular, I'll add more votes. Very rarely have I ever seen any of them do that. And they may have done it at the beginning, but they don't do it now. All right. It's just the way things are. So in conclusion, or the TLDR, asking people to upvote for a guide is vote manipulation. It is no different than posting it up on Reddit and saying, hey, go upvote this. It's no different than getting people to go and upvote something just because you asked them to do it. It's, it's pretty fucking toxic to the community, all right? If you can't make it there on your own merit, on your own accolades, for your own effort, then kind of coercing people by withholding a guide is just shameful. So that's my two cents on that subject. If you agree with me or not, it really doesn't matter. It's my opinion, all right? You probably won't like it. You'll probably downvote this. You'll probably ask the moderators to remove this and have me banned because, well, you just don't like what I have to say. But the fact is, I'm being honest. So, till next time, Shiv saying, may RNGesus bless you.